Alright, hi Miss Schultz, it's Brandon here, first period English, and this is my book challenge. The one you have been so eagerly awaiting. <laughs> so yeah, this is book challenge project. It's a it's Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. Made a video game out of it. So yeah, let's start it. Written by Rick Reardon, all that stuff. Here we go. Start module. Or start my game or whatever. You got ten levels. You got loading module. Loading, loading, and let's go with my Percy Jackson character. There we go. Loading. Loading! Here we go. Alright. So here we go. We're at a school. We're answering Grover's SOS. So yeah, I should go ahead and just get started. Where's Grover? I'm not, not sure. I'm not sure. We might be waiting for us in the gym. Yeah. Urgent. Urgent. Better hurry. Talia. Mom's so cool. Yeah, on the way here, she was telling stories about when he was a baby and all that cute stuff. <laughs> Don't you think so, Percy? Uh, oh yeah, I guess so. You get Grover. Get to Grover quickly. He's probably waiting on us. So yeah, as you can see, now we can select and play as them now if we want to. So yeah. Woo! Woo! We can do Annabeth. Woo! Put that on real quick. Yes. And looks like we got a few teachers on duty, so let's go. Do business to ya. What are you three doing here? Who are you? Explain yourselves. So, then a gush of wind passes by. And what that is, that's the mist. It makes sure that mortals can't see into the demigod world. So they can't see monsters, their armor, their swords, and it also alters their memories to help the demigods in their quests. So we're we're saying that we're also students here, and we need we just went to get the punch for Grover. All right then, but don't leave the school campus again. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Sorry. And there's another guy on duty, Doctor Thorne. We over here. I have a little little secret chest full of potions. Yeah. Let's see, let's drink one of those. Potion of speed, why not? Glug. Woo! Too fast for you. Yeah, there's Grover. Oh, so why don't we just teleport it back there, but whatever. Whatever. Alright, made it. Starting to get worried. What's going on? Two half bloods. I'm pretty sure there's a monster with us too, that's why I called you guys over here. Too. Do they know that they're half bloods? Well, what he's talking about is when you're a demigod, you have a stench that attracts monsters. If you know you're a demigod, then you have a pretty big stench. And but if you don't, then you have a much smaller stench. But based on your age, your stench gets greater and all that stuff. And then monsters can find you easier and all that stuff. So yeah, I don't think so. Or else we would have a horde of monsters on us, top of us right now. What are their names? It's a boy and one's a girl, they're siblings. The older sister is Bianca D'Angelo, and the younger is Nico D'Angelo. Just blending with the crowd and trying not to lose them. As you can see, we also got quests. Yeah, there's two. So yeah. Woo! And Grover's also supposed to be a satyr, half goat, half man, but since there's no real player model for that, I had to stick with regular Grover. And now we have a party going on, too. Strobe lights, we got a few guys passed out to each other, got a few coins lying around, we got a few guys talking to each other, we got a guy practicing archery, and a couple of guards. Make sure they don't get out of control. So let's talk to the archer guy. He's not the nicest guy. Where are Bianca and Nicole? Just a second. Alright, sure, thanks. Alright, so I just took him outside. Dr. Thorne from earlier. So let's just go outside and look for him then. And usually these guys are supposed to be following me, but there's a bug with the game right now, so I don't know how to fix it, so I don't know. Whatever. They're supposed to be following me, but I guess not. So let's just Oh yeah, there they are. There they are. And but there's Doctor Thorn. Apparently he was a monster in disguise, so now he should have killed him. I don't know why he didn't kill him. Should have just killed him. I don't know why he didn't kill him. Thought I lost you. No way, give him back, Thorn. No, the general. Oh, that's why he didn't kill him. He has special plans for him just capturing them. Coming with me? No! No! Alright, need to get my sword. Annabeth, stall him. 
No, I didn't say kill her, just install him. Why did you die? Annabeth, no. Oh, who are the guys helping us in the forest? Oh, Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. And her hunters are, are here. What are you three doing here? We want to know the same thing. What are you doing here? You have to help us find her. Sorry, I cannot. Why not? Because she's not here anymore. She was captured. Uh-oh. And we have to go and find her. Someone said something about the general needing them. Must have captured Anna for bait. What? Wait. Who did you just mention? The general. I don't know. Do you? If I'm wrong, I need to hunt this beast myself. I will call my brother Apollo, the sun god, to pick you three up and take my hunters. He will take you all back to Camp Half-Blood. If you're hunting this guy, I'm going with you. Get up, boy. If I'm right about this, then you'll just get in the way. I think we can get back to camp. Alright, but if you see her, please save her. Alright. Well, I forgot to say that uh, my sword is actually an Akalusmos, or Riptide, whatever you want to call it. It's also dripping like little green seawater. You know, Sun of Poseidon and all that stuff, so yeah. How'd you get a mace, Zoe? How'd you... I didn't give you a mace. How'd you get a mace? Uh, whatever. Oh, she had shurikens. What are you doing with shurikens? Uh, I don't know how they're getting these items, but whatever. Let's see, we got little grass around, we got little humps in the ground and all that stuff. There's the school. Let's see, where, where's Apollo? Where is he? Uh, oh, there he is. So let's go talk to him. Whoop. All aboard the Apollo Express. So he'll be taking us back to camp. Right ho! Probably need something better than a wagon to fit you all in. So, let's change it into a bus. We better. We better. Talia, you can drive your. <laughs> Zeus's daughter, after all. I can get your learners from it. Alright, everybody. Pile in, but the last one that drove the sun chariot was killed by Zeus. Ironically. So, yeah. That's probably not going to turn out too well. Loading new area. Bloke. Greetings. Well, she's not the best driver, but she get used to it. They always do. Last one of the Sun Chariot was killed by Zeus. Well, like she almost burned New York to the ground. Zeus wouldn't kill his own daughter. Whatever you say, Apollo. Looks like she crashed it into the lake on the beach and broke that ship in half. That's just great. That's just perfect. <laughs> oh, hi, Percy. Thanks for saving me and the co back there. Still trying to absorb what all just happened in the past few hours. Yep, it's a lot to absorb, but you'll get used to it. I almost forgot to tell you I joined Artemis and the Hunters. What? You really don't allow boys in the group, you know, about the co. So yeah, she's saying that she didn't want to be a big sister anymore and having to make all the huge, big, bad decisions. And so she just decided not to be anymore and wanted to be immortal, so she joined Artemis. And is now just going to hunt for the rest of her life, for whatever. Yeah. So yeah, she didn't turn that chance down. So, that's just extremely selfish to Percy, that she's just going to leave Nico behind. And yeah, so, whatever. And there's Dionysus, the god of wine and parties and all that stuff. He was chasing a dryad, or I don't remember if it's a naiad. And now he's, he was punished by Zeus to work here for however many years, I don't remember. Here's Chiron, he's supposed to be a centaur, but again, no player model to build off of, so he's just... Chiron, the man. Let's go speak to him real quick. Percy made it back. Where's Annabeth? She was captured by someone called the General. Sorry, Percy. Sorry. Too many campers have been dying recently. We need to get a start on the quest immediately. We have to save her. Let's go sell some off now. Try to get some rest. The reason why I rushed through that conversation is because it's been crashing on that guy lately. So, yeah, that's, that's why it's like take five. <laughs> so, Blackjack. Boss, you're back. I need your help, man. The reason why he can understand the horse is because he's the uh, son of Poseidon, and Poseidon is the god of horses, because he created the horses. So any demigod of Poseidon can understand sea creatures and horses. Stop calling me boss. Just because I saved doesn't mean you have to devote your life to me. He saved Blackjack from Luke Castello off the Princess Andromeda, which is his cruise ship. And he was chained down or something like that, and Percy saved him, so yeah. Something bad going down the lake. The Naiads have been calling out for help, and I said I'd come and get you. Okay, 
see what they need. Probably just another one stuck in a fishing net. Yep. They always get stuck in those fishing nets. So, yeah, let's go back down to the lake. To the lake. Oh, dang. Try to get unequip my sword real quick. Oh, well. Here we go. Now I can unequip my sword. Shield. No, won't need it. And into the lake. Look. We have an underwater level. Yay. We're just talking to the naiads. Need your help. Something is trapped under the boat wreck. Save it, my lord. Save it. Okay. Let's see what we can. And it's a cow. A sea cow. What? It's not a manatee. It's a cow. <laughs> Moo. What is a cow doing underwater? Moo. Let's see what I can do for you, Bessie. Moo. No sword. No. Go back to camp. Don't you think any more trouble? Moo. Obviously, he can understand the ocean creatures, but he can't understand this sea cow. Weird. Alright. Getting dark, so back to camp. Past curfew. Let's see, back to Camp Half Blood. <laughs> Loading area. Area. Alright, back at Camp Half Blood. Yay! And for some reason, it is not night time. Hooray! Bugs. Bugs in a game. I love them so much. Alright. Chiron. Just imagine stars in night time. <laughs> Percy, nice of you to join us. What are you guys doing up so late at night? I could ask you the same question. As though we just had a dream that we cannot ignore. What dream? Apparently Artemis has been captured by the beasts and she has that she has been hunting. Has the goddess of the hunt get captured by the beast she was hunting? That is why we are out here discussing who should go on the quest to save her. We may run into Annabeth on the way. It's already been decided that Zoe, Talia, Bianca, Grover, and another hunter is going. But the hunters didn't like boys. And the Grover does not count as a boy because he is a satyr. Besides, they need a tracker, and Grover is the best they can get. Chiron, he has to go on this quest. We've already spoken to the Oracle. The guy, basically, the girl that gives out quests. She is a prophecy, prophecy giver. And what is this prophecy? Five shall go west to the goddess in chains. One shall be lost in the land without rain. The bane of Olympus shows the trail. Campers and hunters combined to prevail. The titan's curse must one withstand, and one shall perish by a parent's hand. Wasn't the other hunter poisoned by the Hephaestus brothers? Yes, but Zoe insists on going anyway, without you. Fine. At least that didn't happen. Fine, that did not happen, but there's just another long argument about what, whether she's going on. But, but Percy ended up staying here anyway. Oh, looks like Nico was spying on us, so... Hi there. Hi there. You're going to leave anyway, aren't you, Percy? What, Nico? What you... Were you spying on us this whole time? Yeah, I guess so, but you're leaving, right? Yeah, I have to. You can promise me that you'll protect Bianca. Promise me, Percy. Nico, that's a big promise to make, but I'll try. Thanks, Percy, you're the best! Uh, yes, yes I am. Okay, looks like Black Blackjack wants to talk again. Breaking out of this joint! Stop calling me boss. Whatever, boss. Well, aren't we? Yep, let's fly. Time to... F Follow, let's see, yeah, there we go. Follow Zoe, Bianca, Grover, and Talia. Woo! Alright. As far as you can go, I'm pooped. Yeah, that was a lot of non-stop flying. You did good, Blackjack. Does that mean there's going to be some extra hay and apples in it for me? We'll see. Now head on back to camp and get some rest. Now I'll give you a hint. Well, I'm going to let you guess to see where we are right now. See, where are we? Where could we be? What would a huge obelisk be doing in the middle of nowhere? Oh, I, maybe it's Washington, D.C. We in D.C. And why is it not daytime? Why are none of my programs working? They should be. I already tested them. Bugs. I hate you. Oh, bugs. Oh. Ooh, the general and a bunch of skeletons are there. So let's go. Invisibility cap. Let's just sneak up on them. Invisibility cap. Invisibility cap. That on back up. The general. Let's see. Thor was a disgrace. No need to rely on undead skeletons to take care of them. No. I will also send the Nemean lion after them. Uh oh. Have to warn them, they'll die. Where are they? They're like, I see their van. They've gone to the Air and Space Smithsonian. We can't let them escape. Huh? Well, that's convenient. 
And door. And Space Smithsonian, let's go. Sneak out of the group. And run. To the Air and Space Smithsonian. It's Oh, looks like we're too late. <laughs> already here. Yep, they're already here. Yeah. Take them down. <laughs> the Nemean Lion. The one that Hercules barely killed. So, killing it would be a little difficult. It's just reformed since then. This is probably still weak. We can take it together. Yeah, because monsters don't die. They turn into dust and reform after however long it is. And the Nemean Lion just has just reformed. So, see how this goes. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill everything! Kill everything! Oh. There we go. Oh, that's, well, that was quick. Alright then. Let's just look around then. See, we got spaceships, space wagons. We got space wagons. We got another space wagon. We got a few paintings. We got meteorites. Big ol' meteorites. Giving off some weird magnetic power. Woo! Next! <laughs> Alright. So I've also had to skip some of the chapters that's gone on in the book or else I wouldn't have been able to finish in time. So, yeah. So I'd have... I skipped a few chapters here and I just... Yeah. But it... it nothing major happened in those cha chapters. Just... Just some... Just a little bit of stuff. So yeah, we're in the junkyard of the gods right now, I guess. So yeah, let's talk to Zoe and see what, what they're doing. Want? It's the junkyard of the gods. Nobody take or pick up anything. If we do, then the guardian will appear and kill us all. The guardian? What guardian? I thought. I thought. I thought. Well, spelling. That thing was a failed experiment by Hephaestus. That's why it's down here. It was a failed experiment, and Hephaestus tossed it down here to guard the junkyard. Well, I guess that means we're gonna have to be careful. Hey, where's Bianca? Oh, Bianca, don't be looking through a chest right now. Bianca, no. Don't pick up anything, Bianca. You heard what Zoe said. But I, I saw this, and I knew I had to get it from Nico. Well. Yeah. What did you take? Just a figurine to complete Nico's collection. If I put it back, will it stop? It's too late, we have to run now. And since it's Bianca's fault, I'll let her fight it. That's right, Bianca, go get it. Go get it, Bianca. Go get it. Go kill it, Bianca. <laughs> We're dead. Yeah. So kill it. Kill everything. Get it. Oh, gosh, kill it. Hear the rusting going on. Kill it. Kill it already. There we go. Let's go ahead and just, now at least we can do is just take the figurine back to Nico. Okay, we got the figurine. Yeah, so now we got the figurine to give back to Nico. Yeah, thanks for the help, Grover. What were you doing? Wait, where's yeah, there he is. What were you doing, Grover? You were just gonna stand there and just watch us die. Thanks, Grover. Thanks a lot. Yes, come on, help me search, Grover. It's no use. What do you mean it's no use? One shall be lost in the land without rain. We are in the desert, Percy, in the middle of nowhere. The prophecy was right as always. We should keep moving and find Artemis and Andabeth as quickly as possible. We have to make sure her death wasn't in vain. Track Artemis now, sweet. Tracking Artemis, tracking Artemis, tracking Artemis, yeah. All right, it looks like we're on a mountain and it's raining, and a big old lightning cloud is holding Artemis. And oh, there's Annabeth too, and an army standing between us and her. And, all right, let's go talk to the general real quick. Zoe, nice to see you again, my daughter. 
What? Zoe is your daughter? Oh yes, she didn't tell you. That means that the prophecy might be right, and she knew about it too. One shall die by a parent's hand. Zoe, stay away from him. And there's Luke. He's a long oh, so you finally found us. Let them go, Luke. We will, if you bring us the Ophiotaurus. What's the Ophiotaurus? I think you referred it as Bessie, didn't you? You mean the sea cow? Yes, if you bring us the Ophiotaurus, then we will set Annabeth and Artemis free. Why do you need Bessie? Oh, for the massacre of the gods is all. Yeah, that's it. Just the massacre of the gods. Just killing everything. What? How can Bessie kill the gods? Bessie can't, but we can. I have an army now, Percy. Kronos' army. And Kronos is, you know, king of the titans. He swallowed his sons, and then you know, he threw up them too. If we can just sacrifice Bessie, then we can have the power to kill a god. I will never give. I will never give you that kind of power, and I'll give them back. And fight scene. Zoe, what are you doing? Yeah, for story's sake, Zoe needs to die. So let's see if I can get her to die. Zoe, Zoe. Hey, Clayman, Clayman, Clayman. Yeah, there, there we go. All right, here we go. Now we can. Oh, there's an ogre here too. Sweet. Oh, look out! Oh, is he dead? Oh yeah, it is. All right. All right. Who's left? Oh, here we go. Oh, and he was sniped. <laughs> Artemis just sniped Luke. That's awesome. All right, let's go talk to Annabeth now. Are you going to save us? But what happened to Bianca? She sacrificed herself for us. I'm sorry, Percy. I should have known not to ask when I saw she wasn't with you guys. It's fine. She died a hero to us all. We couldn't have gotten this far without her. Yes, I see. There's two of them too. That's a weird bug. I I don't I don't even know. I'm just gonna walk away from that. <laughs> all right, Artemis. Thank you for saving me, heroes. I wish we could have saved Zoe and Bianca. Yes, I do as well, but we shouldn't dwell on that now. We should be celebrating that the enemy did not get their hands on the Ophiotaurus. Yeah, I guess you're right, but still. You did well on this quest for a man. Like, she just called him a man. Ooh. Take care of yourself, son of Poseidon, and farewell. Do not worry about the Ophiotaurus. We will keep it up at Olympus, safe from the enemy. Okay, thanks, Artemis. And... Oh, back to Camp Athlon, sweet. Woo! And here comes the extremely hard part. We have to tell Nico what happened. Here we go. Oh, what? Why are you? Um. Okay. I'm just gonna move all you guys out of the way. Have some alone time with Nico. <laughs> Again, an extremely weird bug. They're not supposed to be here. Your command. There you go. Get out of the way. There we go. Now let's just... We got a figurine. Here we go. Nico? Hi there. First, are you back? Where's Bianca? Nico, we need to talk. Sure, what is it? Oh, Bianca. Bianca wanted you to have this. But, but you, said, you said you would protect her. And there's... Bone sounds. Nico, get behind me. I thought I took care of you for back at the mountain. You said you'd protect her, Percy. I hate you. I want you to just die. The earth opens up and, and the earth swallows the four skeletal warriors. How did you. I Get away from me. I hate you. Nico's now surrounded by a dark aura and throws the figurine on the ground. Percy then realizes that the figurine is a statue of Hades and notices the dark aura around Nico. Nico is a son of Hades. Dun dun dun! The end! Yay! The end! The end! Yeah. Alright. See, that's the end of my game. I hope you loved it. I hope I can somehow figure out what those bugs were. That was weird. And, uh, yeah. 
that was it. Sweet.